Hey guys, it's David, and a lot of people have been asking me, you know, they really love what I say on my videos, and they're very excited about some of the topics that we cover, but they want to know, if I join Hack Hollywood, what do I get? What's inside? What's behind the curtain, Mr. Wizard of Oz? You know, what's in the box of Cracker Jack? Well, I guess that's what I'll do here. I'll... I'll I've been meaning to create this video for a while where I actually show people what's inside. It never really occurred to me that people would need to see exactly what they're getting. I figured that the guarantee was enough, but you know what? I guess if I was going to buy something, I'd probably want to see what's inside. All right, so what the heck? Here we go. All right, as you can see, uh, we are in the Academy, hackhollywood.com slash Academy, and you can see that there's a menu across the top. We got the home page, training modules, discussions, resources, the blog, and then help. Okay? Scrolling down, we're on the, uh, I guess we're on the home page for the academy. First thing you'll see is the quick start guide. So that's what you want to do to get an introduction to the material, to the concept, to the philosophy. What is it we're here to do? And right here we've got news and updates, so when anything new comes up, we'll put it right there. And here's kind of the first hello video right here. And that's just basically a greeting from me to let you guys know what a smart move you've made and to proceed further. And below you will see the six modules of content. Really it's five modules. The six module is more like a bonus, but I haven't figured out a way to name it properly. So for now it's module six. Now as you can see, the modules are know yourself, know the craft, know the business, know the people, and become known. Module six, the bonus module is no limits. That's sort of a sort of the fun stage where you can get really creative with some of the things you're doing with your career. It's 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 sort of a an, a very advanced level of of thinking. So first, let's talk about knowing yourself. What does that mean? Like, hey, David, I know myself pretty well. I've lived with myself all these years, you know, and I get it. But really, what we're talking about here is kind of the whole concept of Hack Hollywood can be related to the development of a product. Because as actors, we are entrepreneurs, we are business people, and we're products, okay? That's what we are to the entertainment industry. You may not think of yourself as a product, but that's kind of how the entertainment industry sees you as they see you as something that may or may not make the money, may or may not entertain their home audience that pays their bills, either buys their movie tickets or is attracted, you know, attracts the companies that advertise on television. So what we're really talking about here is figuring out what do you represent as a person? What do other people think of you? How do they see you? What roles could you play? If you were in this movie, what do you think you'd play? Which role would it be, if any? Because obviously, you know, you're not going to be right for every movie or every TV show, etc. So once you know yourself and understand what you, what you are and what you represent, then you can go to the next stage, which is knowing the craft. And this is sort of putting the shiny packaging on your, you know, your rough product concept. So knowing the craft is really all about taking acting classes, obviously, but practicing and honing your skills so that they are razor sharp, so that whenever you walk into a room, you are ready to blow people away by being professional and being on your game. You know, no Johnny drama where you get all thrown off because someone's looking at their Blackberry or eating a ham sandwich. And and the and we also help you with the selection process of who to study with and what to study. Because I think it's really important not just to go take acting classes 
where your friends do or where you've heard was good. You need to find a place that relates back to this, knowing yourself. Who are you? Because you want to find something that's a good match for you. Most of our education is done in public schools or even private schools, but where it's basically a one-size-fits-all approach. But now you're kind of grown up and you get to choose your own acting school. You get to choose the style, the teacher, everything. So you might as well find the one that fits you best. And to be honest, you're probably better off not studying with your friends because they'll probably just distract you. Okay, so once you've gotten to know, once you've gotten to know the craft and you really have your skills down, then you need to learn, again, from a product perspective, you want to be in this business, this entertainment industry, but you don't know anything about it. So how is it that you're going to figure out how you fit into it? You can just try an audition, but then you'll never really know if what you're doing makes sense from a business perspective from the people that will be hiring you, the producers, the directors, the casting directors, even your agent. If you don't understand what it is they want, what it is they need, how they think of actors, how actors fit into the whole scheme of the entertainment industry, then you're not going to be able to give them that. Okay, so it's very important that you study the business, you watch the sort of the step by step of production to see what the various steps are. What, what does a movie go through before it finally makes it to the screen? Very, very important. Okay, so number four, you know the business, you know the craft, you know yourself really well. But to, to get a job, you've got to know some people. Even people, even at the most superficial level, if someone just sent in a headshot and you got called in based, based on that, then they know you a teeny little bit. But if they knew you really well, that would probably help you so much more with getting work. Because if someone thinks of you as a collaborator, as a colleague, as a co-creator, as a uh, someone who inspires them creat creatively, then they're on your side. Whenever they're having conversations with other people that they know, your name may come up in conversation when they talk about a project and you say, oh, what kind of roles are you looking for? Oh, we're, uh, we're casting someone like this. And then you maybe your friend says, oh, you know what? I just worked with David on this project and he sounds a lot like that. You should take a look at him. Who? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? Just call my office on Monday. I'll give you his contact information or what have you. That's what knowing the people can do for you. And also, if you know some professionals and you know them quite well so that they trust you, they respect you, and they know you're dependable, and basically you've made yourself indispensable to them, then they will do anything for you because you have shown them that you're someone who should be kept around. So they will help you out. And the fact that someone like that associates with you is a signal to everyone else at their level, all other professionals, that because you're associated with these professional people, then you are probably at that professional level yourself. So it's a huge signal to everyone else around the world, entertainment-wise, that you are a professional and are worth looking into. Or if, the, if someone suggests you for a role, and you know that they know someone and they're close with someone that you respect a lot, then you'll think, yeah, let's see that person because they, they, they can't be all bad. They're friends with so-and-so. Okay, so moving on to the very, the very last module, this is when we put it all together, okay? This is when you can go beyond the people you actually know personally and really leverage your relationships, leverage what you know about the business, and basically spread your wings and fly. You can look at maybe hiring a publicist at that point, maybe doing some kind of advertising, getting articles written about you. There's a variety of means you can become more known to the business. But it's almost impossible to become known if you don't have the first four steps 
taken care of and on a very, very high level and professional basis. But it's all pretty straightforward. I'm not going to get into module six because that's bonus material that really is for people who really want to take it to the next level. A lot of people aren't going to, aren't going to have, to be honest, the, the, the chutzpah to go to the star level. A lot of people will get in that environment and they'll start freaking out because that's when people become highly dependent on you. You're no longer just an equal. You, you are someone who commands attention. You're a star. You're an A-lister. And those people are literally magnets for other people. And every move of theirs is watched. Every move of theirs is paid attention to. People hover around them, listen to every word they say. That You don't get a lot of privacy. So that's what we're going to talk about in Module 6 is how to get to that level, if that's really where you want to go. But suffice it to say, the first five modules will get you easily into the level of professional actor where you're making money regularly you know people people know you you're respected and and you're you're a working professional actor so that's pretty much the five modules we also have a discussion room where you can actually discuss the module work so the work that's going on in the modules. As you can see, we have a room for a, a, basically a discussion room for each module, one through five. And then we also have this really cool and original, which you'll never see anywhere else, the accountability room where you introduce yourself and you talk about what, what exactly you want out of your acting career. And then you give a report each week and it's there for all the other members to see and help you out with, inspire you, comment on, you know, bug you if that's what it, you need, but it makes you accountable to your goals. So you set a goal and then you give us a weekly status update and that way it'll keep you on track. There's nothing more effective than setting goals and then being accountable to them. And that's exactly how I actually went from having no acting jobs to basically being someone who can pretty much work anywhere in the world that I want to. If I go to New York or LA or Vancouver or Toronto, if I went to London or Sydney, if you look at my resume, I can get a look from pretty much any producer, director, casting director, or agent. And I created all that basically using uh, the goals plus accountability and going through a five-step process that I basically created for Hack Hollywood. Okay, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, the only other thing I'd like to show you is that, where is it? Oh yeah, so under resources here, uh, we have, let's see if it's here. Yeah, okay, so as you can see, there's interviews, and I uh, have created a series of interviews. Uh, many of them are, are still to come, but we've started off with some awesome actor interviews with people that have basically started with nothing and have gone through all of these processes unknowingly. These aren't even people that were around, or these people were around long before I created Hack Hollywood. But as I interview them, I actually point out how it appears that they inadvertently went through the same five steps in their acting career that I uh, espouse in Hack Hollywood. So. It really it inspires people because they can hear true success stories and also it shows them shows the members that you know what it, it's not rocket science it's quite simple and straightforward how to have an acting career you just need to treat it more like a regular career instead of treating it like buying lottery tickets and just trying to paste your picture all over town and hoping someone's gonna call you that's basically like going to Vegas. That's like buying lottery tickets. It's not a serious approach to a serious career. And I'll just leave it with this. That's pretty much everything I have to say within Hack Hollywood. But I'll leave it at this. And this is sort of the the philosophy that, that I live my life by and that I, I try and inspire others to live their lives by, especially in this area. And that is 
If you respect your career, your career will respect you back. And, you know, think about that. Think about that a little bit, and I think it'll make sense to you. You'll understand what I mean. You know, if you put it, if you put, if you put in the time, put in the effort, treat it professionally, then that's exactly what you'll get out of it, okay? That's what people will do for you. So there it is, guys. Thanks so much for listening. I hope this all makes sense. If you have any questions, David at hackhollywood.com. If you have any technical needs, support at hackhollywood.com. Okay, guys, that is it for now. We will talk to you soon.